But uh, George, first of all, welcome back to the 3,000 metre steeplechase, brother. How'd you find it out there? Yeah, cheers, mate. Actually, first of all, we need to get to the bottom of, uh, of this Instagram story today. <laughs> Did we really meet in 2014? Tell you me what. We did. We Albany, raced, Western we raced Australia. One time in Albany, and, and I was second. You were. And you were Bro. third. <laughs> when I watched that story this afternoon, I was like, "Holy shit! Was he the guy?" I've told this that, to Morgan before. Is he the guy yeah, on the podium with me? That's me, Mate, man. That is hilarious. Hey, we're, we're, I'm one and zero. Oh, we should, and we should never race again. Okay. Rainer absolutely yeah. wiped the floor with us that day. <laughs> hey, he smoked Holy. us. Didn't he? Yeah. He, he was about 400 meters ahead. At least. Yeah. I would oh, say. Minimum. Within yeah. the first I, mile. I actually think he was drinking a coffee when we came. I think he was yeah. cooled uh, down I already. I think he was so far done. Mate, that is that's unreal. As so soon as you go. said that, I was like, we, you know what? He's bloody familiar. We go back a long way. That's ten years. Yeah, we go back a long way, brother. Okay. No, today. Hey, yeah, we're on the other exactly. side. But today, 814, oh. somewhere around there. Uh, Mate, how'd you find it? That went, uh, although it looked, looked not very good yeah. uh, on paper, that's um, so much better than I, I thought it was going to go. This is the best my voice has sounded all week. Really? I was probably, and it's taboo to say this these yeah. days, but you can't say <laughs> you, you were clips, unwell. Right? Yeah, you could you can't say you're unwell, yeah. but probably the sickest I've ever been yeah. in Oslo. What what did you pick I went up? to Oslo. Was it, was it? I started feeling a bit average in, in Eugene. But again, you can't say yeah. that. Yeah, you can't be uh, making excuses. No, no you yeah. just got to like pretend it's the Eugene pretend pollen. Pretend you get or, sick, yeah. No, complain, <laughs> what, people always complain about the pollen in Eugene. Never had allergies in my life. But no, got on the plane with Ollie, came to Oslo. I mean, just was trying to blame it on, yeah. you know, the travel or just feeling a bit down. Um, and just oh, tomorrow morning, wake up feeling great. Yeah. Next, tomorrow morning, you're going to be you'll good. You'll feel perfect. Woke up Wednesday morning, unbelievable fever, <laughs> headache. My chest was like on fire and spent the next two days either shivering or like absolutely just covered in sweat it was a miserable couple of days Jeez. in Oslo um, and oh, to make to make the starting line was uh, a yeah. fucking miracle oh yeah. shit shouldn't have said that a fucking yeah. miracle yeah. Um, <laughs> in the scheme of things and yeah just like day by day last few days I think in like <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Shit, sorry, you don't have to do that. Man. No, I know that. You don't have that to was, actually that was come, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you should have seen the phlegm I was coughing up a couple oh, of days ago. Like yeah. green, like absolutely mustache, yeah. fluoro green. Oh, that's what you want. It was. I wish. I'd go away, green. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I would have. Yeah. Well, I've had COVID twice. Yeah, I would love to have COVID twice, again. Three times. I mean, COVID's yeah. nothing. Yeah, compared, compared to, to whatever this. the fuck that was. So then, what was it when you come into it? Then you, you clearly fucked. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I knew it wasn't like. A couple weeks ago, you know, I thought like I thought I was gonna. You know, have a good shot at 805 to 810, mm. like super realistic, um, just in the shape I was in. You know, hurdles started to come around and the hurdles actually felt great today. Felt good. And the thing was like, you know, could have pulled the pin a couple of days ago, but flowing all the way here and I really need the yeah. hurdles right now. You need like, to get I'm doing pack, this yeah. in Paris, Diamond League before Paris, and that's it. Like, yeah. no matter how, if I was going to 830, like I needed to get out there and just like, feel get it. on the track, do some hurdles, do some water jumps. Yeah. That's the first water jump I've done since pre in September wow. so Jeez. it had to be done yeah and it could have been a lot uglier than it was so, so then I gotta ask you proud of yourself then for getting out there and doing it like I know do I think like, think too much about that sort of stuff but the fact that you've been able to do it yeah. it's still impressive yeah our job's not that hard mate. Yeah. <laughs> no but still though like you could have really not backed in and then just gone oh fuck it I'm sick I'm not doing it like you still managed to come away with an 815 yeah in I mean, amongst could, everything yeah it could have gone a lot worse um yeah. You know, the body's held up. I actually feel pretty good. Yeah. And but there was just no chance I was going to put myself up in that front group and and hammer away like yeah. that. Just it just wasn't going to happen today. So, you know, took a what I what I, well, I mean I, what the thing was I thought I could run 805 mm. a couple of weeks ago. It's like all right, <laughs> let's recalibrate yeah. and you know maybe I can still run 815 mm. and you know I'll take it today. So you got one more steeple before the Olympics. But yeah. what other races are you going to be in, provided no, you can stay healthy? <laughs> Dude. So no 15s, no threes, no fives. No. Just purely on the yeah. steeple. Yeah. Just getting stuck back into some training. 100%. Um, back to Boulder for a month tomorrow or next day. Spend a day hanging out in this freaking beautiful hey, city. What a place. Unreal. Yeah. Uh, this stadium I mean, is... look at it right now. Man, it 19, is picture 1912, perfect. this thing was constructed. Unreal. Can you believe that? Yeah. And I was here last year, and I felt bad for the fans, athletes, oh, everyone. so wet. Yeah, I was here last Worst year. Worst conditions of any yeah. track meet, Don't probably. you reckon there was like seven people in the crowd? And, and they you all felt so far, yeah. sorry for themselves. And you can't find a seat now yeah. here. <coughs> sorry. Oh, boy. I'm sure I'm not contagious No, you're, you're doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, um, I'll just back away. Yeah. I think it's just shit left over my lungs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't, can't really complain. No. Like, survive some jumps. You know, two months of training and 
you know, hope I can be super competitive 100%. in a couple months. Well, look, I hope I'm going to be in Paris, Diamond yep. League and Olympics. League. I swear to God, I hope you, I hope you're not still sick then. Yeah. And look, maybe after the Olympics we could race again. I'll give you an opportunity for us to go one-one. But I'm pretty happy to hold this know. one over you. Yeah, that's outstanding. <laughs> that's so good. You're, that, you're on my Instagram feed. That's like one of my that's first me. photos yeah, in on there. Instagram. I'm in there. Go back and yeah. find it. It's me. Yeah. Amazing. Standing there, great haircut. I'm pretty excited. Three Vic boys, I remember. Three Vic boys. Who was third? Who, or who was fourth uh, shot shooting the podium? Jack, Jack Holden or Nathan Pierce. Was that? Might have been one of the two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good Everyone on watching you. this interview will be like, who the fuck are these two guys? No one about? cares. Yeah. We need to talk more about Australians yeah. and New Zealanders. Well, you can talk on it, mate. You're world indoors. Team New Zealand, you would have thought it was oh. a country of 40 million people. Bloody You're world day. indoor champion. And let me say this as well. I was at college the same time you were at college and historically, you battled so many injuries and just continue to these championship races to fucking win them. And I'd always think, this guy's incredible. Like, I've been injured the same amount of time and I'm running 4.14 in the mile. How do you do it? How do you just consistently show up at these majors, no matter the condition you're in, and do what you do? I'm not gonna say, Glasgow, I was, I had a pretty good six months. Yeah. Um, I was pretty healthy, you know, I was feeling, I was feeling really good. Uh, into double mile, different story. Yeah, I, did. I probably had, exactly about, I I probably had two and a half weeks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nah, look, I, I don't, I don't, I'm never running 750, I'm never running 1240, yeah. but couldn't care less, you know, yeah. just, just love to compete and um, hope I can be a bit, up, bit, bit closer to the front um, come, come August. I Paris. hope you will be. We'll see you there. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. 